Do you want to learn how to code? Network with a professional? Make a cool project? Get nice swag and possibly win money? If you answered yes to any of those questions, this is your sign to apply to a hackathon. Friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam and in today's video I'll be talking all about hackathons. This video will be broken up into four different parts and I'll leave timestamps down below. But it'll be broken up into what is a hackathon, then I'll be talking about how I got involved with hackathons, then I'll be talking about reasons as to why you should apply to a hackathon, and then lastly I'll be talking about upcoming hackathons that you can apply to. Hint hint TO hacks. So what even is a hackathon? It sounds really scary, but I promise you it's not. The definition of a hackathon on Google is an event usually hosted by a tech company or organization where programmers get together for a short period of time to collaborate on a project. The participants work rapidly and often without sleep to achieve their task as the event generally lasts 24 hours or take place over a weekend. So no, you're technically not really hacking, but basically you're creating creating a project in a short period of time. And the project can be anything. And that's why I really like hackathons. You can be as creative as you want. You can build an app, a website, a physical project, you name it, you can build it. Now I'll be talking about my story and how I got involved with hackathons. If you don't really care about my story, I don't blame you. You can just skip to this part for reasons to why you should join a hackathon. But I got involved pretty late in comparison to other people in my program who've been to hackathons since grade nine, already been to like 20 plus hackathons, which is really crazy, but I wish I started earlier. And I think the reason why I didn't is because first of all, I didn't know what a hackathon was. And second of all, just the name of it sounds so scary but I promise you it's not. But I got involved after I got accepted to university and my first ever hackathon I actually went with my little sister who's in grade 9 at the time just because I have close friends who are into that so I didn't really have people to go with but my sister she agreed to come and I'm so thankful she did but it was at a hackathon called Not University Hacks and it was hosted by MLH so everyone that went to the hackathon um, were high school students or younger so it was a bit less scary I guess but it was just me and my sister and we could have a team up to four people there was a discord channel to meet other people to make a team so my brave sister sent a message and a few people responded and I think that we just formed a group with the first two people that responded to us and I was the oldest one and probably knew the least which was pretty embarrassing but it's okay because at the end I think I learned a lot it was it was a lot of fun just to go through the whole process especially since it was my first ever hackathon it was a lot of fun and my sister and i both learned a lot so big tip go with people that you know and if you don't really have friends that are into hackathons then try going with your siblings or you can just go on the discord or slack channel at, at the hackathon and meet your teammates so after my first hackathon, I realized how less intimidating they really are. And I was actually on a group chat called Women in Computer Science on Facebook. Um, so we were basically first year girls that got accepted to the University of Waterloo. And that group chat, people were talking about how we should do a hackathon together. And there was like 90 plus people on the group chat. And there can only be four or five people on a team for a hackathon. So we created a bunch of polls as to what programming languages we know so that we could kind of form groups based on that and that's where I met some of my closest friends. We actually went to a hackathon together just recently and I vlogged it so if you guys are interested in watching that I'll link it right here or here. I don't, I don't know. I met some of my closest friends and we are still very close to this day. But yeah, that's basically my story. I feel like the hardest part is going to your first hackathon because you don't really know what to expect. But once you go to your first one, you feel more comfortable and going to your next one. So far, I've been to five hackathons and I feel like at every hackathon, I learned something new, made a new friend or networked, which are all such great things. Now I'll be talking about reasons why you should go to a hackathon as well. And at number one is just learning. And I know that's very broad, but there are three categories I want to talk about. First is learning about yourself, 
learning life skills, and learning new technologies. There is a huge misconception that you have to know how to code before going to a hackathon, and that's completely false. Don't worry if you don't know how to code. There are so many workshops at hackathons to help you. Um, examples of workshops could be front-end development, back-end development, data analysis, UI, UX design, iOS development, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and so much more. So there is definitely a workshop to learn the technologies that you want to learn and hopefully what you learn you can apply to build your project and mentors are also there to guide you through and help you especially if you're stuck in a bug there are plenty of mentors to help you so don't feel like you don't know enough to go to a hackathon because these are things that you will learn at hackathons you also learn a lot about life skills for instance since you're working in a team you have to work on your teamwork skills and making sure that everyone's collaborating well and everyone's on the same page you're also working on your time management skills since you are given such a short period of time you really have to work on prioritizing and seeing what's important and making sure that you have somewhat of a complete project and all these skills are super transferable and important in the workforce so hackathons definitely do help you build on top of these skills or learn these skills if you've never worked on them before personally also learned a lot about myself at hackathons um, before going to my first hackathon I didn't know anything about web development and at my first hackathon I went to a web development workshop and it taught me a lot about CSS, HTML, and JavaScript and now I'm considering maybe that's something that I want to pursue um, so that's really cool to just learn more about yourself and what you want to do in the future. All right, number two is meeting new people, whether that is friends or professionals in the tech field. Hackathons are a great way to just expand your network and meet new people. Like I said before, I met my university friends that I'm the closest with now through hackathons. There are also many coffee chats that you can hop onto to meet new people and company recruiters. I personally know a few people who landed their summer internships by going to these coffee chats and connecting with a recruiter. Also at a recent hackathon that I went to called She Hacks, they had this really cool networking event that was taking place on this platform called Hopin, where you were basically given five minutes to meet someone new and that person could either be a recruiter or a student. And so it was a great way to meet new people. And at the end of many of these calls, we would connect on LinkedIn. So it was a great way to expand your network. And I met a lot of new people from different universities, programs, years, and companies. So it was just an awesome way to just meet new people. My third reason to why you should join a hackathon is because you get to build a cool project that you can put on your resume and potentially win a cool prize. And at a lot of hackathons, even if you don't win, they send out swag. So even if you don't win, you can get a nice t-shirt. Then they're usually really comfortable and a bunch of stickers. I have a whole collection um, that I haven't put on my laptop yet. But you could also get a project done quickly to put on your resume. And if you're looking for softer roles, having projects on your resume is usually essential so hackathons are a great way to just get that first project on your resume and also the hackathon over the summer my team actually won and although our prize wasn't really cool it was a really rewarding feeling just to have won a hackathon it bonded us more as a team because we were so proud of what we accomplished together so it was a great bonding experience and that's definitely a reason why you should apply because you never know you might win a really cool prize or some money, which is always nice. I hope now hackathons sound less intimidating. And if you've never been to a hackathon, I hope now I convinced you and encouraged you to apply to one. And if you don't know which hackathon to apply to, I would highly encourage you guys to apply to TO Hacks. There are some really cool prizes. I think we have $15,000 in prizes. There are plenty of workshops to go to, tons of sponsors that you wanna chat with. And the swag is really nice. Our designers are doing a really good job with the t-shirts. So you don't wanna miss out on that. Uh, so if you guys are free on May 8th and 9th, I would highly encourage you guys to apply. The link to the application will be in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or comment them down below. Hope to see you guys at the hackathon and talk to you guys later. Bye guys!